The Red Cross says it will open 23 shelters in the area as soon as evacuations are ordered. Emergency operations are on alert this morning. News 2's Colby Thielen joins us now from North Charleston and Colby. Lane reversals begin at 3. That's right, Octavia, but they're asking people if it's possible to leave sooner than that because remember, uh, around a million people across the coast have to evacuate today, so it's going to take some time. The process might be slow, so they're also asking people to remain patient. Now, the Emergency Operations Center in Charleston County, in Berkeley County, and in Dorchester County, they expect to be at operating condition one by three this afternoon, and that is the highest operating condition, and that means that, on, that they're going to be in ongoing emergency response mode. They're expected to move to OPCON 2 by 8 this morning, and that means that these operation centers are going to be fully activated. Now, yesterday, Governor Nikki Haley declared a state of emergency, deploying 1,800 members of the National Guard and encouraging people to evacuate, and also reminding them to consider the safety of the nearly 3,700 members of law enforcement who are helping. As you mentioned, lane reversals today, they begin at 3, and in a press conference yesterday, county officials urged everyone to follow the evacuation order and to do so as soon as they can. We're all in harm's way in this area, okay? Uh, so we encourage people, strongly encourage people to leave early or, uh, and or leave when the evacuation order has been issued, okay? Um, if they don't leave, there's really not a whole lot we can do. And here's a list of the citizen information lines that you can call. The number for Charleston, 746-3900. For Berkeley County, 719-4800. And for Dorchester County, 832-0393. And officials here are reminding people to take some time, review the evacuation zones, and know the corresponding routes. And that when you are set to leave, make sure that you stick to that route. Reporting in Charleston County, Colby Thielen, News 2. All right.